Viboga wants to meet you. So let's go to Gabon. Gabon is located right bang on the equator, on the Atlantic coast of West Africa. It has an equatorial climate. Its rainforest covers approximately 85% of the country. It boasts an abundance of wildlife, plant life and indigenous culture. President Omar Bongo in 2002 assigned a mere 11% of the rainforest to ecotourism. This is just a token of its real potential. Its real treasure of course being Iboga. Iboga by pleasure. Once you took it once, you don't want to take it before a long time, even a small quantity. Tateo is a Buiti medicine man and is a guide for many a lost soul who comes to these shores seeking a cure. A lost soul like myself. As, as long as you respect Iboga, as long as you are on your knee when you eat it, as long as uh, you just uh, be a good man because everybody has the same wrong things, daily wrong things, uh, but the divinity knows that, you know, that you're human, you have matter, have spirits, and as long as you try to be the best you can, uh, the spirit will always forgive you. Teteo has his own healing and cultural center just outside Libreville in Gabon. I spent a month there. <laughs> He rescues street children, restores their witty identity, educates them. Pilgrims from all over the world now come to the Teo for Iboga initiation. Some come to be healed of addictions. Others seek healing from depression and psychological disorders stemming from childhood. Iboga frees your spirit. The Iboga initiation takes you on your journey. By eating massive amounts of Iboga, your soul leaves your body and the journey homeward begins. It's really challenging to the mind, to the body, to the soul, to everything that you've ever known. And then the purge comes, clean you out before you enter into your voyage or the guidance of uh, Mr. Iboga. And two years of research to find Mateo and Ibando. And thank God I found the right people to be initiated with. It's so safe, it's amazing. The guy, Tateo takes great care of people both physically and spiritually. <laughs> It's been the plague of modern America, but that could now change forever. What started as a rumor may now actually be an incredible breakthrough in the battle against addictions of all kinds. Tonight, Quant Force Greg Lyon uncovers the truth behind Ibogaine in a special report you'll see only on 4. When the Ibogaine has a number of strikes against it, it doesn't come from a modern laboratory, but from an ancient plant. It was discovered not by a scientist, but by a heroin addict. It is mildly hallucinogenic and completely illegal in the United States. But having said all that, when it comes to curing addiction, a reputable scientist believes Ibogaine is nothing short of a miracle. Former Gabonese president Omar Bongo declared Iboga to be a national treasure, a treasure for the world. 
So why is Iboga still illegal? Why is Ibergen still illegal? Either way, Iboga and Ibergen continue to heal hundreds if not thousands of people every year. It healed me. Thank you Iboga for coming into my life. Thank you Teteo, witty papa, for saving a wretch like me. You truly are a saint, the saint of Africa.